Hi, I'm Zach. I'm a PhD student at Stanford University, and I'm working with a team to create a field school at a beautiful and remote place in Alaska called the Hobbit Hole. So the Hobbit Hole is this amazing five-acre homestead on the Inian Islands in the heart of the Southeast Alaska wilderness, totally surrounded by protected land. To the south is the Tongass, our biggest national forest by far. To the north, world-famous Glacier Bay National Park. This is a region of big mountains, big glaciers, lush temperate rainforests, and deep glacially carved fjords, just teeming with abundant wildlife. Well, we started in Sitka, which is over here, um, and we took a boat along on the outside. We went around Kruzov Island and up um, around the north side of Chichikov. And then we came around here and saw the Brady Ice Sheet from the boat. So we're now in here in the Indian Islands. Indian Islands Institute will bring researchers and student groups out to this special place. They'll have a chance to study the rich ecology in a truly wild setting where the ecosystem still works pretty much like it did a thousand years ago. It's an unparalleled place for scientific exploration in biology and geology and oceanography. But it goes way beyond just the science. Out at this remote property, you generate your own renewable hydropower right there on site, you drink the rainwater, you eat fresh garden veggies and delicious wild salmon. In the middle of these vast protected lands, the Hobbit Hole is a place to rediscover and redefine your relationship with the natural world. And that's so important right now as students are becoming more and more disconnected from it. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about sustainable development, about the interaction between natural resources and uh, stakeholders in the community, different governance systems. And it's just really complicated. I was surprised about all the politics involved and uh, just how, how complicated it is in general. So. Um, that's been a really cool part of learning about it, place-based learning, like getting to learn people's perspectives in the community rather than just in a textbook or something, so that's pretty awesome. I think the question is, how do we make management decisions about our finite natural resources that are going to meet the needs of people and the environment long into the future? Now, these are really tough questions, and they require integrating the social sciences with the natural sciences. Indian Islands Institute will be the world's first field school devoted to the study of this emerging discipline of social ecological systems. Teaching students this integrative way of thinking is crucial to sustainability and it'll make them effective environmental leaders. We went up into a sandy cove and we pulled up our kayaks there and we stopped for lunch and it was so beautiful, lots of fog and if you looked out into the ocean, the fog just met up with the sea and it looked a little bit like heaven and just like all mixed into one, it was perfect. It was beautiful. Our mission in creating Indian Islands Institute at the Hobbit Hole is to educate and inspire rising environmental leaders. We're incredibly excited to get started and we want you to be a part of it. This will be something fun, something wild, something super important for students now and in the future. This is our chance to set aside this special place for a great legacy.